guys, how are you? So, I was going to make this an ASMR video, but um, I've just moved into a new house and I've all my stuff in boxes and I can't find, I can't find the charger. Sorry, I'm just trying to be really quick. Anyways, I feel like trash, I look like trash, but you know what isn't trash? Sakuraka. So I got sent the box and uh, I don't know if it's because I was over emotional that day. But I actually shed a tear when I opened it because it's just so cute. Like, <laughs> it really is really cute. Um, I'm going to try. I took this everywhere with me. This has been everywhere with me because I just haven't had the opportunity to do it. But do you know what? Finally, I'm going to do it. Okay. So it comes with a little booklet telling you. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> telling you how to use the products inside. And some background and some history. Allergens. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I have to pick because I don't make the video too long. Oh, I'll just go one by one. I'm so annoying. Oh, and it opens from the back. Much like my Arabic books. Oh, yeah, it has that about. Damn, Devin. Hello and welcome to your tasting tour. Oh, sorry, guys, this is an ASMR video. I just I can't find the cable to my mic. Oh, I'm so dumb. Mm -hmm. This is the spring box of 2021. So... like i usually do it's just and i've been through this box before because i've had it for so long but again just seeing all the effort it's just so adorable it says in the box nice to meet you let's have tea all the best things are shared that's so true <laughs> why am i crying at a box <laughs> okay so i just did a zoom in on all of them and i'm just gonna say i'm sorry if my nails look dirty but i just came back from camping so yeah and then um let's go for the tasting tour ready <laughs> okay so this is a sweet mini japanese roll cake with a spring twist the moist and rich cake has the most delightful sakura aroma and flavor perfect partner for spring tea these are called baumkuchen and they originally were brought over from germany in 1919 so Oh my god, I feel bad even. Oh, it is soft. Mmm. It smells German. Yum yum. Oh, I'm so sorry I couldn't do this with mic. I could have done a McBang. Never mind. Gorgeous. Oh. Oh my god, it's really nice. It tastes like something I know. I can't remember. Anyways, that was that. <coughs> I give that a 9 out of 10. I'd definitely eat that with some tea in the morning. Then we got this one. And the leaflet says all the allergens they contain if they're vegetarian uh, friendly. And also extra things they contain that you might want to know about. So let me read this to you. This is made using cherry blossom petals. The sakura chocolate inside. Oh, there's chocolate inside. The moist and soft. So, so, what? Inside this moist and soft sable cookie. Mm, I don't know what that means. Makes for an indulgent treat. Let's dig into this. There's chocolate inside. It's very soft. Upon first touch, oh my god, it's so soft. It's so soft. It's got that sort of Jaffa cake. Is it this? Oh, strawberry inside this one. Oh, it makes sense now. Do I have another one? Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. That, that, oh my god, I'm crying again. <laughs> that flavour came in like, wow. That flavour came in like consecutive bangs and bursts. I was just about to complain and say that I don't like strawberry flavoured things. Like strawberry milkshake and stuff like that. But, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then you feel, yeah, you bite into it. Mm. And then it gets soft and then you feel the strawberry. And out of nowhere, this like second flavor just comes through. It's like, what? Oh my god, it's like, what? Oh, this isn't even strawberry. Oh, I'm so dumb. Cherry blossom. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just saw. <laughs> mm. Oh 
Oh my god, it's only. Oh, I need to stop. That I'll give that ten out of ten. Sakura Sable Cookie by Rosemary and Yamanashi. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah. And then we got this beautiful thing that I'm actually quite scared to open because it looks so pretty. It looks like what soap looks like, you know. Incorporating the delicate flavour of sakura, this traditional sweet is known for its beautiful translucency and soft texture. Sprinkle the included kinako, which is roasted soy, soy flour, on top and enjoy. No way. I don't want to open it. What? This is a beautiful mechanism. Oh. Oh. What? I need a spoon for this. Are you guys going to hate me if I like... I don't want to upset anyone. That's oh, like jelly. Mmm. 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 Okay, don't judge me. I did just suck that out there straight. But it's the same thing. Who needs a spoon? Like, oh my god. And now we're gonna put the kinako, which is the roasted soy flour. Oh my god, I'm so intrigued. I've actually never. What? Oh wow, maybe perhaps because this is so strong and this is not bit. What? This is blowing my mind. This is blowing my mind. Okay, now this exactly. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh, I wish I had a spoon. Oh, should I get a spoon? You know what? This is such a beautiful and well done box that I'm actually gonna get up for this spoon. I would never usually get up, but this is how much I actually, I'm really enjoying this experience. <laughs> okay, let's see this. Oh, I'm so excited. I've literally, oh, don't you just love everything? <laughs> oh, shh. Mmm. That's so interesting. I want to eat more, but then I don't want to eat more. It's such a confusing feeling. But... But, I guess, it's just because it's a foreign feeling to me. Not that it's bad. Nom. Nom, nom, nom. Oops. <coughs> that isn't from the flower, that's for me. I'll give that, actually, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. But I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. No, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I don't want to rate anything badly because it's actually so sweet. This is the cream sandwich vegetarian friendly if you can't come and see the sakura in japan we'll bring them to you these delicate wafers made from <coughs> fried mochi <coughs> sorry i'm not feeling very well from fried for, well, fried mochi blah, 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 blah. delicate wafers made from fried mochi feature blooming sakura and sandwich a light and sweet vanilla cream i'm excited for this actually oh yes yeah, so oops well, you can tell the wafer is very delicate. But this is at no fault of Sakura Code. This is all at fault of me because I took this box traveling ev everywhere. And I'm, I'm very reckless with packing and stuff. I don't want to bite into it. It's so beautiful. It's crazy because I'm not actually a sweet person. I'm not. As in, sweet things. Well, <laughs> And um, I actually really like these things. Like, I'm not getting sick of the sweet stuff yet. I'm actually really liking this. This is so delicate. I hope the wafers are so thin and the cream is so light and thin as well. It's like, mmm, perfect. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. And then we've got our, <laughs> and then we've got our beautiful bowls here. So then this is the Sakura Owen bowl, which, Apparently is used best for soups and desserts. Dishwasher friendly, not microwave but friendly. But I think it's super cute. It's got a sakura shaped base and a subtle sakura motif in there. No. Cuteness and it makes cute sounds. I might use this for A's. So, 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 so. And then we've got the green tea, which I don't own a kettle yet. I need to go out and buy a kettle. So oh, I'll have to try that in another video. 
It's called Circula Centre Tea. Explore the bitter flavour and circular aroma of Brook Circula Centre Blend. So, Centre is a Japanese green tea and its flavour comes from brewing tea leaves as opposed to tea powder, like matcha. <clears throat> Enjoy the earthy and refreshing flavour of this spring exclusive Japanese tea. I actually really like green tea and it's so pretty. I'm not going to throw this away. I think, oh, and it feels so soft. I can't even explain it. This feels so soft. And then it has some information about where the center tea is from, um, which is cute, actually. Ooh. Oh, it has like visiting tips. Uh, oh, they put so much effort into this. And for its hot springs and national park, on a clear day, you'll have an amazing new, view, amazing view of Mount Fuji. Yeah, there's loads of, it talks about food, like cultural hotspots and shops and just some background history. Really well thought out, really well made. I would love to talk about this, but my recklessness, at no fault of Sakura Girl, has destroyed it. So I'm going to try it later and see if I can. Oh, <laughs> It's okay. But what this was, is a blowfish shaped Monaka wafer. Thought to be a symbol of good luck. Ooh, how exciting. You'll find a mochi surprise. It contains instant shiruko, a sweet red bean. Oh, I like that and mochi porridge. Check it out. Oh, I'm such a dum-dum for doing that. Okay, on to the next. Here, we've got mitarashi mochi monaka. <laughs> mitarashi sauce is a fresh, sweet, and slightly spicy soy sauce and sugar-based sauce. It pairs well with mochi and red bean paste, called anko, all lovingly spread in between two crispy monaka wafers. Well, I'll be judge of that. Yum, yum. Okay. So this is not how it looks like. This is just my recklessness again. But can you see? Yummy. Spicy soy paste, no? But we have to try everything in life. Don't be scared. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so good. This is so good. What the hell? Mmm. This is another thing about all this stuff. It's so light but filling and just feels well done and just that i just put it all in my mouth and it all just melted and none of it was too rich or too heavy oh that's really good next we got these which is uh rikishi mo mochi monaka if you have a sumo like hunger <laughs> rikishi mochi monaka is the snack you need sumo are said to eat mochi to build their strength pretty cool which inspired the creation of this Monaka wafer sandwich filled with mochi and a 100% Hokkaido grown Azuki red bean. Mmm, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, it's soft. Very wet. Oh, very wafery. And there's a slight symbol on the front, but I cannot for the life of me pinpoint it because of my, yet again, reckless. Oh, can you see? It's filled with mochi. Oh, and the wafers are so soft. It's like it's nothing. <laughs> but it's something. Mm. Oh, shit. I forgot to give ratings for what I was doing. Doesn't matter. Ride the wave. <laughs> and then we've got this simple kinako mochi, which is a crispy, light, and sweet kinako mochi. Highlights a different side of mochi, one that melts in your mouth. These bite-sized treats are coated with a sprinkling of kinako and Japanese sanbon sugar. I really like that kinako stuff, like, I didn't, mm, soft, Oh, what the hell, this is insane, I was not for the life of me, I was it, I was expecting, like, I saw this little simple cookie, and here's me going, like, here's the next little simple cookie. This isn't simple. This is amazing. Oh, my God. What is going on? I don't even know where to start. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, like, definitely coated in loads of that stuff. And you're going to, you can just, it's just there. Oh, my God, never turn out again. Again. With this lightness. I can't explain it. It's like I didn't eat anything. But I enjoyed it. Can I also just say that the box came with this 
beautiful little it's like a postcard and it says may marks the end of spring in japan and the start of warmer days ahead but may is also the month of one of my favorite japanese holidays which is children's day which is the 5th of may on children's day we celebrate the children in our lives one way we express this is through the custom of eating mochi which is a way to wish for healthy growth <laughs> this inspired my team and i to create a delicious spring mochi tasting experience reaching fresh sakura flowers. May Sakura Go Box is close to my heart and I'm so happy to be sharing it with you all. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so sweet. I'm so happy. And there we go, there she is. Beautiful, isn't she? Oh. Ayumi Chikamoto. Love Ayumi. Thank you for this. This is so beautiful. And the aspect of Children's Day and the whole mochi. So beautiful. So beautiful. Wow, okay, next. Next, we've got this big boy, which is a fig dorayaki. It's using Japan-grown uh, wheat and plenty of delicious Japanese fig jam and red bean paste. The fig dorayaki might makes for an indulgent and fluffy treat. Fluffy. I'm like, I don't know what to expect, really, from all of this. Yum, yum. Interesting. Mm. This is very soft. It's like a pancake. I don't know how they've managed to maintain this pancake-ness for so long. But it's really nice. Oh, I'm gonna... And we've got plum mochi. This delicious and addictive mochi combines sweet marshmallow and sour plum jam from Wakayama Prefecture for its filling. Chewy, sweet and refreshing. A mochi lover's dream. Interesting. Oh, I'm quite excited for this. Wow. It looks like... Things are fairy with really. you. Look at that. Oh, and it just looks so soft and sweet. Let's see. It looks like it's coated in something. Oh my god. That feels so good. Oh my god. Why is everything making me cry? This is so can you I'm crying because it's so soft. It feels so amazing. This is perhaps the most amazing thing I've ever felt. Why is it so beautifully soft? It just makes sense. <laughs> Surely nothing man made should be this soft. I'm literally crying. <laughs> because it's just so soft. <laughs> is this what all mochi? No, it shouldn't. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Check it out. Mmm. Oh, yummy. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, I'd love to read you the back, but I'm not very well versed in Japanese. Um, so this is what I was initially <laughs> talking about. This is Azuki Warabi Mochi. This Warabi Mochi is a soft treat that is often enjoyed in the warmer months. <clears throat> this one features the unique texture of Azuki red beans gently folded in during the cooking process, topped with fine kinako powder for a delicious mochi experience. Let me give you some mochi history now. <laughs> the time period in which mochi was first developed is actually a mystery to historians. I love a good mystery. A mystery, oh yeah, <laughs> as there is no solid record, but scholars have found that mochi making tools, what's a mochi mean? But, uh, but mochi making tools, dating back to the Kofun period, which is 250 to 538 CE, they also believe it may have found its start in Western Japan thanks to the rice growing conditions. But these are some mochi essential um tools over time eating mochi became tied to celebration mochi is not only thought to give strength to the person eating it but also to symbolize longevity making it an auspicious food one example of this is uh, kagami which means mirror mochi kagami mochi mochi mirror mochi two large mochi balls with an orange sat on top placed on a small wooden pedestal and displayed in homes during are displayed in homes during New Year's. At this time of the year, families will put it on display as it is thought to represent the spirit of the full rice harvest. Oh, however, New Year's is not the only festival to have its own mochi, with Girls' Day and Children's Day having special, mo special mochi dishes. So this is the New Year's mochi, um, mochi display. That is super cool, isn't it? I could never pull something off like that. I'm like... See, just everything. I just feel like I'm everywhere. I'm too all over this. The, the the event of mochi making itself can also bring together communities with mochi pounding gatherings called 
mochitsuki being a popular event together one or more people with a large hammer called kine pound rice while another person wets and rolls the rice around to prevent sticking all participants need to be in rhythm to successfully pound the rice into mochi as one wrong move could cause injury how cool i love that you know just this whole connection of everyone's contribution although you may not be in japan while enjoying your mochi we hope this delicious tasting tour will allow you to experience a part of the culture wherever you are in the world oh, they are just so sweet this is a lot of why today's spring box is um um filled with mochi because it's a uh, celebrating um the children's day when wandering japan in late april and early may you may be met with a strange sight flags in the shape of koi carp many travelers are taken aback by the sight of bright and colorful fish blowing in the wind but it symbolizes something very important children's day which is the 5th of may um, the day has been used to celebrate children for centuries and is thought to have originated during the reign of empress suiko this was one of the five key ceremonies in the imperial court and signaled the beginning of the rainy season though much has changed over time this tradition is still celebrated to this day that's the koi carp balloons and then there's more about children's day and there's the mochi which is heavily emphasized on children's day because like we read before it was meant to uh enhance strength or growth or something of that nature so i think this was like a mochi this was a mochi emphasized month but i'm sure there's an array of different things that are coming in the future that looks cool what's that I might buy one. <laughs> um, this was so fun and nice and interesting. And it's so nice to just go outside the borders you're in for once, even if it is uh, through a tasting box. And it's just so nice. I've got loads of half-eaten food now with bread. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. Some of it made me cry <laughs> in a good way. But um, thank you so much to Sakoko for contacting me and sending me this box. It was extremely worth the wait because I actually received this box in berlin months ago and i had to watch the delivery guy walk away with it because i didn't have 20 euro on me to give to give him on the spot for the delivery so i had to watch the box leave my apartment and be shipped back to tokyo and i just thought what the hell so i've been through a journey with this box i'm so glad i finally got it and I still, this is one of my favourite bits about the box. I just thought this message was so cute and that's so beautiful. So thank you to Ayumi. And thank you for the treats. Oh, you made me a happy girl. So there we go, Sakuraka. I'm going to link them. And um, I know I don't usually do box openings, but I thought this would be kind of fun. And um, I absolutely didn't want to turn it down. I thought this is so cool. But I thought, I, 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 I wish I could have made it an ASMR thing, but... I can when I keep unpacking I'm gonna find all those things yeah <laughs> so again thank you Sakuroko for gifting me with this and uh I think I'm gonna buy the the most recent one or next one or something so check out their website and they're like monthly subscription boxes yeah I think I'll be super cool so thank you for watching I'll be uploading a smart video soon and I'll see you next time. <laughs>